Hey everybody, Glock in the house here. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the upgrades that I've done to my DJI Phantom 2 Vision. Um, starting off with uh, probably what's obvious is the carbon fiber skin uh, that I went ahead and purchased online. Uh, this was a um, like a $25 upgrade uh, that I got from PCH on eBay and um, the decals stick really well they've got a good finish to them uh, you know it keeps the uh, the shell clean and it's got a nice look to it um, the next thing that uh, I went ahead and did was the carbon fiber um, propeller um, uh, uh, propeller or uh, prop card sorry and the prop guards, they're kind of hard to see on video, but they are carbon fiber and they're very, very thin. Um, they don't add virtually any weight at all to the Phantom. And um, for those who know, uh, you know, these, these uh, Phantoms do have a tendency to tip. And when they tip, uh, especially when you land, um, you could very easily uh, destroy a prop. So <clears throat> these were just kind of a, a no-brainer investment. And they kind of add to the uh, to the look of the um, the Phantom as well. Uh, recently, I purchased the um, the uh, camera filter kit uh, from DJI. Uh, let's see if I can get in on that. Uh, let's see. Right down there. Uh, haven't installed it yet. Got the three filters. These are, um, let's see, this one is a UV filter, and then I've got a uh, CPL. So um, that's, um, oh, let's see, that one <laughs> is a circular polarized filter. I'm obviously not a uh, photographer by trade. And the last one is, let's see, this one just looks like, oh, what they call a warming uh, or intensifier filter. So I'm not quite sure what that does. Um, I, I'll have to uh, look into the, um, uh, the uh, optics themselves to see actually what kind of uh, uh, filtering they do. But what I have noticed is nobody is really doing um, videos on the filter kit and filters for the Phantom. And I think um, that's something I'm going to add into this video or perhaps do a second video um, so that, you know, people like me who have very limited and beginner skills when it comes to um, photography can understand what the different filters do, what the benefits are, and, um, and so forth. Um, the next thing, I'm going to pan out or zoom out <clears throat> here, is a mod that I did to the transmitter. So I'm going to set this down and bring this up. Move this over. Oh, and that was a nifty carrying case that they sent with the, uh, the filters, which I thought was a nice little bonus, taking those out into the field. And uh, so what I've done to the transmitter, um, besides kind of the obvious decals that uh, a lot of people do, um, I'll zoom in on those maybe. You can see what those look like. You got your IOC, uh, GPS, attitude, manual, just a nice little uh, DJI Phantom. Um, sticker there and on the back we've got if found <laughs> so I don't think I'll be losing this but if I do um, one thing you'll notice that I use the wireless um, repeaters connector here with a couple of GoPro connectors one's kind of a oh kind of like a tilt one and then just the standard one here and the reason that I did that um, was one, 
I modified the wireless repeater with a much larger higher gain repeater which I'll show you as well and you'll obviously notice on the top that we've got a little SMC connector what I did there was um, ran a uh, pigtail on the inside into the um, the transmitters uh, connection and then put this here so that I could put a higher gain antenna a whip antenna on there as well which is right here let's see just for reference I guess um, so that you can see how large it actually is um, it's quite a large it's a nine decibel um, I believe seven or nine decibel gain antenna whip antenna I think I paid about fifteen dollars on Amazon for it uh, I have not tried it yet um, in the field, so I'm hoping that this isn't going to be a, a total disaster and my my uh, quad just goes flying off somewhere. So uh, we will pray, um, <laughs> but I think it's a straightforward connection. I don't think we should have too many problems. Um, but going back to the transmitter, that uh, GoPro connection was actually because I didn't want to um, use my iPhone uh, with the uh, with the transmitter. I wanted something bigger, something that was dedicated and so I decided on an Android platform because one, they're inexpensive for like a seven inch um, uh, uh, you know idea pad or you know um, like a sort of a, a tablet and that's exactly what I went with actually is the Lenovo idea pad. Let me grab that So, sorry about that, but this is the idea pad. Kind of hard to see in this angle, but I'll turn it on. And maybe maybe it won't turn on cuz oh, there we go. Um okay. So, there it is. Good-looking screen, real bright actually. Um, a little glossy for the outside, so you do get some uh, you do get some glare. So I've actually purchased something else that I'll show you here in a second. But what I want to show you is on the back, I have another GoPro connection, um, and that slips right onto the transmitter. So I'll show you how that looks. Usually goes pretty easy. So there's that, um, you know, and it can tilt and whatever. Um, so now I've got a great uh, screen that I can, I can see things um, a, a lot better. The resolution's very good. I don't have to squint uh, at a small little iPhone screen. Um, so the next thing that I purchased, speaking of squinting, uh, was for the, the glare. And that was one of these guys. Um, it's just a, just kind of a simple cover um, that's held on with Velcro. And I'm not going to completely attach it here, but you know, you kind of get the idea. <laughs> it's, it, it attaches on the back, and um, with that, it uh, protects you from the glare. So, so there's that, and that's. Um, that I also haven't tried that except, you know, just standing outside to making sure, you know, it actually would function. So the next thing with the transmitter that I did, let me move these down, <coughs> is I increased the gain for the wireless um, repeater considerably as you can see here this is the uh, TP-Link TL antenna 2414A you can find this on Amazon I don't remember what I paid for it like 30 bucks or something like that and um, so this thing gives us oh god like uh, 14 dB I think uh, gain and I've I've actually gotten about um, truth be told about 1500 feet so far before I chickened out and there wasn't a single glitch on my um, on on my uh, screen, so I was very pleased with that. And I just attached this 
or rather I attached the wireless repeater back here uh, using again a GoPro connection and then a pigtail to the coax cable this little guy here is the pigtail SMC to coax and then I have this here this uh, actual plastic part um, was for a, uh, a like an iPad that I attached with Velcro and it's supposed to allow you to attach it to a uh, tripod which um, I'm using right now for this video but um, on the bottom here goes another GoPro connection and then that connects to your tripod so you turn this on um, you know basically it's sending the signal through one of the antennas in here to this repeating the signal out and you've got uh, quite a uh, quite a great gain so I've been very pleased with this I have tried this uh, several times and it's been working very well those are just um, in case you're wondering just some stickers more stickers uh, basically that just tells me the modes the warnings things like that um, but uh, I got those again I think on eBay uh, somebody on the uh, one of the Facebook groups had designed them and they looked interesting I don't ever actually <laughs> look at them but uh, should I ever need to like in a pinch I suppose so anyhow so there's that um, other than that, uh, right now that's the only mods that I've done, and I think that's, uh, you know, it's been a really good improvement. So I think what we'll do is go ahead and attach the, um, the filters and see how those work, and I think I'll do a, a FAQ kind of thing on those, um, because I know for me, you know, being a novice, uh, even a little bit of information um, would be really useful. So hopefully out there, it'll be useful for you as well. Okay, uh, well, thanks for uh, meandering through this video if you stayed through to the end. And uh, look for a, a future video or another cut directly into the, um, the filters themselves. Thanks again.